Hi, this is Susan from I am with SusanVelez.com and I wanted to make this quick video on how I created my download page to um, give people uh, access to the products that they signed up for my email list for. Now, this may not be the best way to do it, but this is the method I'm using and it seems to work for me. Of course, um, if you have a better way, you can share that below down in the comments and let me know what you think, okay? So what I did was I actually set up this download page. It's um, a page. This is uh, I provide traffic videos for people who opt into my email list, and I I was at first just giving them the download link so that they could download the videos on their site, but I decided that I wanted to keep them on my page. So I created this download page so that they could come over here and watch these videos, and then at the bottom of this page. I also put it so I also put some um, affiliate links and links to other products that I think that they would need to help s uh, run their business and then I put links back to my blog as well as links to other products that I have okay so this will give you the opportunity to keep people on your page and if they click one of these links you could possibly make a commission on from affiliate program even if you don't have your own products you can actually link to some affiliate programs that you use okay that you recommend so let me show you how I did this it's it's actually very simple I used Dreamweaver but if you don't have Dreamweaver I have a link I've put a link in my blog for uh, Composer which is a free HTML editor it's kinda like Dreamweaver but it it is a free method that you can use okay so what I did was I came over here to file and I created a new document okay I used the HTML template and then I used the one column liquid centered okay and for composer it's gonna be something similar you're just gonna wanna create an HTML document and then you're just gonna hit create okay um, this is the design okay Dreamweaver is a little bit different than Composer. I'm, I'm not really sure how you would do this in Composer, but it would be something similar, okay? So you can see that I have the layout for the for the template, and then what I would do is I'd come over here to code, and I've already got the information that I need. I've I've already got it in a document. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste it. Of course, you would have to write out uh, all the information that you need for yours and then stick it in your in your document and then you can see that everything's already at, um, in here you can't see the videos because the, the code just doesn't show up until I actually upload it to my site so all the links work and this is what I would upload this is once you get everything written the way you want it to show up on your on your uh, download page then you would put this you would save this document or save the document that you have and you would save it as you would hit OK and then you would save it to your desktop now I recommend since it's a download page I recommend naming it something that's not going to be easy to find because you don't want anybody just accessing this you want them to access it but you want them to access it by having to subscribe to your email list so what I would do is I'll just give it a bunch of numbers and some letters no big deal I mean you don't really want Google to index this anyway and then you just save it as an HTML document okay so you'd come up here and it say save as and you'd save it as an HTML document so you save now one thing that I want to mention is you want to give your page a title otherwise it's gonna say untitled document so you go back into the code and you go all the way to the top and up here you'll see you should see it um, okay a template editable editable thing or I'm sorry title in between the title title tags you want to put a thank you or or um or something that you want this page to be titled okay I just use the word thank you okay and another thing that you want to do is you don't want Google to index this so I have some code that I put on my blog that you'll want to paste in between the head 
and this part right here. And I've got it on the on the on the blog, so don't worry about not being able to see this code. But you'll want to paste this in here because this will tell Google that you don't want it indexed, okay? Um, and once you get this done and you saved it to your desktop, then you'll come back to your desktop and you'll have to log into FileZilla. Now FileZilla is is a um, FTP service that I've been using since I've started online and it allows you to easily put files from your desktop or wherever you want to put them into your server onto your uh, website okay so you'll look I've saved mine on the desktop so I'll go look on the desktop and I'll see this file okay now this is the file that I just created it's a download page so what I would do is drag and drop it to my root of my um, my site you want to make sure that you're in the www dot folder of your website okay then once you do that then you'll come over here let me grab that because I don't know the name of it but in order to see this you'll come over here and you'll go back to your browser to make sure it's working and then you'll enter your domain name forward slash and then the name of the file that you gave the, the, the file name that you named the file and then as you can see once you hit enter then it comes up okay so this is the download page that people would see once they access once I give them access to this download page and they subscribe to my email address so as you can see this actually works out really well because they are not downloading the videos and keeping them on their site which is fine I don't mind somebody downloading the videos but the whole purpose is that you want to keep them on your site and then offer them other links to other products that they may want to sign up for and then this is a good way of making a sale on something other than just giving them this free gift and then once of course then you would start sending out your autoresponders but that's a whole different um, subject I just wanted to show you how I was doing my download page for my free gift that I'm having people sign up for if you have any um, recommendations or you have anything else that you'd like to share on how you're doing yours then feel free to post your comment and um, if you found this video helpful then give it a share okay once again this is Susan from I am with SusanVelez.com and I hope this helped you if you have any questions or um, need some more ideas on how to do your download page then feel free to visit my blog and leave a comment okay thank you very much have a great day